My name is Alby Shure. It's in effect mode. Used to have a crush on Don from In Vogue. We're here at uh, a chef table. The chef table put on by Chef Drove. Also, Richard Smith is his name. And you also know him as uh, yes, yes chef. chef. Woo! It is a sold out affair. Everybody was a who's who is here. Of course, I'm Lee Pitts, the media sponsor for Lee Pitts Live, who's here at a unique, I mean unique moment in Southwest Florida history. Everybody, is anybody is here, and uh, my two guests right now out here at Poolside are certainly distinguished themselves in Southwest Florida. Ladies, welcome to Lee Pitts Live. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Uh, Chantel, you'll be on the show a lot more as you continue to grow in your uh, popularity as a political uh, stronghold here in the community. Everybody has their eyes on you. Uh, just as a brief, go ahead, introduce yourself and what you do, Chantel. I'm Chantel Rhodes, and I'm just a people person. I'm happy to be here with my family, with the Lee Pitts, the only Lee that we acknowledge here in this county. And I'm, it's, it's just been a great evening. I have Pastor Cheryl next to me, and I grew up under their leadership. So it's just been a great night. All right, it's good to get you here. And I think I saw you in a forum that took place at Mount Hermon Ministries where you had a lot Absolutely. of Absolutely, so they had the Millennial Symposium, the clergy symposium where they highlighted the millennials and got our perspective on peaceful protesting and racism and all of this good stuff. And I must say that Mount Hermon Ministries has been at the forefront of the movement uh, for, a racial, for racial justice. So I'm just happy to be here this evening. Well, just a little point on that before I go over to the first lady is I wanted to be at that, but my son had a basketball game mm. that night. In fact, he has one tomorrow, too, here, and so I'm going to be able to attend that. But uh, and, and you guys understood that I had to go and support my son. He's Absolutely. Family first. 11-year-old. He's doing pretty good. Uh, and, uh, I got a I always let people know I got a chance to teach Chantel to swim. Okay. Chantel, were you 9, 8 back then? I believe I was between the ages of seven and nine okay. when you so, taught me how to uh, We swim. go way back. I was a SEAL. <laughs> that's you know? right. Yes. If you're a SEAL, uh, that's the highest level first that lady, you can that's go. the highest level you can get okay. in my program. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You work your way up, a dolphin and whale, and you become a SEAL, and she was a SEAL, so she was big time. Okay. I can't remember all of the students that were in there, Chantel. Of course, I remember you, but I can't remember all the students, but they, it's been hundreds, I mean, like thousands probably, and they all turned out to be uh, very successful. So it was the water. That yeah. water. Absolutely. All right, let's go over here, First Lady. Uh, I've already introduced you by calling you First Lady of Mount Hermon Ministries. You also are a ordained minister as well? Yes, I uh, am. And uh, I think you're the business office. Uh, some, go ahead. Business administrator. Right, okay. The, uh, when you see somebody who part, come out of your church, uh, become a leader like Chantel, what is, how does that make you feel? We are proud, and, and we try to support them as much as we can. Every time, you know, I have seen Chantel do interviews, she always reminds them where she started. And one of the things I love that she you, you always say is, you know, being kind. We learned that at Mount Hobbs, be kind one to, you know, to another tenderhearted. And that is something that we have done forever. And to see her stand in her truth, in the fullness of her truth, I think she's right in the line with her passion, and it looks very good on her. Mm -hmm. Before you. we get to big droves, Richard Smith, who's a part of your church now, uh, all these leaders come up in our community some kind of way they've been touched by Mount Hermon Ministry. Before we get to him, I want to back up and tell you something that was interesting that happened on my show about two months ago. Okay. I was interviewing Solomon Mitchell III, okay. the air conditioned concern, mm -hmm. uh, outstanding young man. And one of the first things when I talked to him, you know, he's starting to run the business now. Mm -hmm. Dad is kind of moving to the side. And I said, what do you attribute to your success? Mm -hmm. He said, the education that I got at Mount Hermon Christian School. Yeah. Right yeah. there. He did. He went into talking about how great that education, not prompt or anything. And uh, the school still exists. People can still get an education of, of preschool. Actually, we're just doing VPK. We've got the, the, of course, we have the daycare, and then we're going up to the VPK group. Okay, yeah. so that's great. Keep, keep yeah. educating people. Yeah. Uh, the, this event, when Chef Drove first contacted me, mm -hmm. Richard Smith, he quietly let me know how you were behind the scenes, mm -hmm. uh, helping him put something on like this. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that idea and how the first conversation went and why you felt it was important that you support an event like this. 
Well, because I, I, I believe in him, I believe in his gift, his heart for what he does. And it was just one of those moments, he was in my office and we were just talking. And he's like, you know, he calls me mom. He's like, you know what, mom, I really want to put on something um, that is going to pull people in our community just to just light their taste buds up. Okay. And so I said, well, what are you thinking? And he said, well, I'm just still working everything out. I want to do it in a house, but I want it to do it where, you know, it's sectioned off. And so we said, well, we need to find a house. That means if you need to look at an Airbnb or whatever, right. you know, do that. And so he's like, well, do you know anyone? So we started talking about different people we knew. And uh, he came back and he's like, well, how do you think we should do it? And I said, well, first of all, go with people that you know that's going to be able to understand who you are and what it is you're trying to do and let us reach out to them individually and then sell those tables that way and then once we get out and have this experience guess what we're gonna do we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna blow up social media and once they taste your food mm -hmm. you don't have to do any other work after that because they're going to testify of how good the food is and I said you just want to set the atmosphere we don't want it to be like a restaurant. We want it to have a different, more intimate feel to it. Right. And when you look around at the tables, that's all you hear. You hear people talking, having a great that's time. That's all. It's just and uh, it's, 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 it's beautiful. I'm going to stay with you for a second. I'll come back to you, Chantel. Uh, for those who are listening to us now, mm -hmm. kind of paint the picture of what we're experiencing throughout this house. <laughs> what is it looking like? You got tables inside. We out here with like six courses of meal mm -hmm. well first of all when you come in we all got our temperatures checked Absolutely. so we needed to make sure that we were first being somewhat safe um, most everyone wore everybody wore their mask in um, so that was a, another calming piece for us then you get in and there are different tables and what I love about it it's not everybody sitting with their friends so you've got tables mates that are different from you, different backgrounds that's creating a different conversation. And then what I love is what, what Richard is doing for each meal he has come out to explain to us everything that we're going to get and then he's telling us the different ingredients for each each meal mm -hmm. and each meal has exceeded the first mm -hmm. so it, he's building on right. something so the salad you know we've had salad before but <laughs> this salad it has something different okay. he had a tomato basil soup right what did you think about that soup? The tomato bisque. bisque. He <laughs> called it a tomato bisque. He explained the difference uh -huh. uh, between a bisque and a regular soup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and there was a scallop in the middle, in the and it was phenomenal. First class. That's the only thing I can say about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. From the Dunbar community. Yes. I grew up in the projects right next to the Stars mm -hmm. Complex. What are those projects called? Uh, next to Stars. Do y'all know the name of those projects? That I can is Village. South, South Village. Village. Yeah, South product South of South Village. Village. He talked about it in my interview with him early on. Okay. Chantel, you can just get that up a little higher. Okay. Uh, Chantel, now, we have somebody who's putting on this elegant event. Mm. Came from our wonderful community of Dunbar, from the city of Fort Myers, has this vision to uh, grow this business. When you, think, when you see something like that, does it inspire you in any way? Absolutely it does, because we see a lot of athletes coming out of Fort Myers. That's what we do. We produce athletes. Mm -hmm. But the world needs to know Dunbar in particular, but Fort Myers, Southwest Florida, we can do it all. We mm -hmm. can produce the greatest chefs. We can put on the greatest events. We can have the greatest talk show host in the in the state in the country <laughs> absolutely we can I do all you. of this can come right <laughs> right out here. of southwest florida absolutely. so i'm just i'm i'm happy to be in such mixed company but it feels so familiar this is home to me and when you look around i'm gonna get this to both of you when you look around you can see it feels like family absolutely. everybody came out proud to support absolutely. our own when we say our own we're not necessarily talking about race but we're just talking about somebody we can connect to we Ab feel like absolutely. he's a part of us go and i come to you absolutely that's what i feel like with uh chef dro uh, known his family for quite mm -hmm. some time now and i'm just again i can't reiterate how happy i am to be amongst family i think that was the most appropriate word mm -hmm. that you could have used i don't feel like she, even the strangers <laughs> We're yeah. sitting in and such 
tight quarters safely, yes. doing so safely, mm -hmm. but still having the opportunity to sit across from somebody and say, who are you? Where are yes. you from? Where right. are your family? Right. You know, where, where's your family from? And, and we, he just brought us all together. I'm happy he to be absolutely here. Did. Hey, and, and First Lady, we came dressed to the nine. Of course we did. <laughs> Of I course. mean, you go in there, people are like, hey, this is fine dining. Of course. Absolutely. And, and that was intended. But the beauty about this, this is just the first. Right. He, this is traveling. We he's gonna behind be take, this. He's going to take this to the different cities. He's right. taking it, I mean, to different states. So we get to be the first fruit of what God is getting ready to and do. Fort in and Fort Myers will be Myers. right behind him. Absolutely. Wherever he goes, we'll be right there That's supporting him. That's what we need to do. Now, the... Um, The food. Oh. Let's talk. We've gone through about four of the. Well, well. We're let me back five, up for a second. Right. Let me back I up for a we're second. At we're at number fifth. five. We're at okay. Number five. Let's sum up the food, and then I want to go to a larger question. On scale from A being the best, F being the worst, what grade you give it? I would say we definitely at a. I would say an A. Okay. For sure. For yeah. sure. Absolutely. All right. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Because you know what he's doing? He has a play on his flavors. Mm -hmm. He, You can get a salad anywhere, but there's something unique that he had on his salad. He made these candied walnuts that he put on the salad. <laughs> uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, he said he made it all himself. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, okay, I can appreciate this. Because I would spend more money going out to a restaurant to enjoy this same quality. I mean, and the, and the food is of great quality, too. Yes, so. yes, right. yes. And even the, the, the play on the tomato bisque. Absolutely. He I had mean. a lobster cake mm -hmm. oh, with a oh. bed of corn. I, 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 the you got to talk about the food, Lee. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Listen. Layered the flavors on it. What was that on top? Did that white it drizzle? Was a, it was a sour cream, but there was a different name to it. it it's, a, Listen, it's a name he he had. He, he did that. Okay. He, he, Southwest he Florida, you need to We're waiting to on the grand this. finale. We're waiting yes. on the entree and the uh, dessert. Absolutely. Let's go to the you. Uh, we have been fortunate. Chantel, you traveled throughout the Orient. You mm. lived in the Orient, right. China, some Peking, Beijing. Where was it? Oh, Shanghai. Oh, Shanghai. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to name some of those. Where is that? <laughs> right. Uh, Peking, China, Shanghai. Shanghai, uh, China. Beijing, right. Uh, okay. Now, you've been to a lot of places, mm -hmm. experienced a lot of things. I certainly have done so as well. I've never experienced anything like this. Six-course meal. I'm like, how are you going to get six things out of this? Talk about how unique this is, uh, First Lady. Well, I have actually experienced something like this in Aruba on um, okay. one of our um, vacations. And that's why I was able to kind of understand what he was trying to do with the layering of the foods. Um, but the thing that is unique here is this is someone from Fort Myers who embraces his craft. Just like a musician practices, what he does is he plays with the food. And he, he purposely looks for different ways to build the, 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 the notes in the food to make you wonder, right. what is it? What is the flavor? Right. And, and make you taste it from a totally different perspective. So that's what I really appreciate in what he does. And one of the things I want to point out, in addition to that, everything seems so light mm -hmm. and healthy. You have your vegetables there. Everything is not soaked in grease. Mm -hmm. Nothing was. We're it talking was, about you, man. Stick your head in here. We're talking about your yes. food. Yes. Yes. Stick your head right there. But you're socially distant. Just stay is, right there. Yes. This is the yes. also, Tell him this is what y'all, how y'all been bragging on this also the while healthy, you're trying to wrap The healthy up. alternative that our community so desperately oh, needs. You were talking about how light everything was. Go ahead. Very light, healthy, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you helping keep our show our community that you can enjoy you can food. food without grease and, fried and, and taste the food and the flavors. The, food the, the flavor is just there. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Give and him I, a little mic. Hold the mic and, and, go, and, for it. go ahead. I, I was telling him one of the things that I love is the layering that you do with every single meal. What do I, 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 I think you're the say? only one that notices <laughs> that. What does that I mean? say it all the time. I notice There's it as survive. well. There's a it's a layer. balancing of, of flavors that yes. allows you to say, remember I said it earlier, like, what is this? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? And that's that's just the way I cook. I like mm -hmm. to. I don't want one thing mm -hmm. overpowering. I just don't. I don't. I don't like that at all. Tell it, us it's, the. Sh it's go like, ahead. If I can say it like. Yeah. This. Let it's, other people like y'all brag this. on. It's like a choir. Right. You got your sopranos, tenors. You got your altos. Everybody's got a sound. And they sing in unison. And they sing. It comes together, making yeah. the one sound. Yeah. But each have a unique thing that they bring to that sound. 
That's how his food is. There's so many layers of food or, or, or ingredients, flavors. flavors that he has, but when it hits that palate, it all comes together. And that's what he does. Man, everybody been coming over here bragging on how great they're enjoying things. What phase are we in now? We're at the fourth? We are at the fifth. We are the one, meal. the one before dessert. Mm -hmm. This is the last uh, meal before dessert comes out. So we're okay. on number five. You don't want to call it an entree? Yeah, I know, that's what no, I it's know. a course. It's a course? It's a course. <laughs> okay. It's a course. <laughs> uh, okay. So we've already had sea bass. So I'm about to announce the uh, fifth uh, course right now. Now, I know you're going to go in there and do your what we're going to have. Uh -huh. They've talked about how it's so interesting how you come out and tell people what they're going to have. Of course. I want you to give an uh, to our television audience right now. This is my what job. What I'm about to a, bring out now? Right. Tell them how you do that presentation in there. Just say it, say it right now. Which okay, so uh, the fifth course is going to be a um, pan-seared venison. Uh, it is not um, gaming because it wasn't, you know, harvested privately. It comes from a manufacturer. Uh, it's very rich, and I thought I was going to put a um, blueberry uh, wine port reduction to it, but the meat's just too rich. So I decided on a demi glace, and uh, what we're going to do with that is pair that with a um, uh, roasted potatoes with uh, smoked paprika, some red jalapenos, and some Spanish olives. Man, you blow me and away I must with say, all those most words. of the exactly, I was about to say that most of the stuff he's mentioned here tonight, I've never heard of. <laughs> so I can appreciate that alone. You're blowing me away, man! Like, uh, like yeah, it's big time, man. Yeah, so it's uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an adventurous. I've already warned a couple of people. Right. So. Before I let you run, but for for my mother, for my spiritual mother, I have a uh, a quail for her. I okay. have prepared, I have deboned and deconstructed those little bitty quails, <laughs> and so um, pretty much the um, same dressing with the, the garlic and the um, so the venison is also has been marinating in um, olive oil, uh, fresh thyme, uh, g garlic. And it's just a little salt and then some uh, peppercorns. Some crushed peppercorns, but some of them did get away. Get a picture of that, man. Get a picture of that. So. The only way we're going to catch this right here live, the chef, is right here on Leaf is Live. We are here. Yeah. We're getting a picture as we talk. The chef has taken a second out to come to our table. We've been over here eating. Hey, chef, uh, you might see me over here working, but that's what I came to do to document this uh, inaugural event. Tell people in our TV audience what, it, what how to get in touch with you and what the concept is. Uh, I'll, I'll, um, well, this here is the chef's table. Um, this is my dinner event, uh, as you as you said, the inaugural event. Uh, but if you want to get in touch with me, I'm on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube uh, under Yes Chef Creates. And you'll come out and cook anybody's dinner, any oh, yeah. meal. Just go to my website um, again, YesChefCreates.com, and look at some of the packages. Uh, I do custom. I, I customize every event that I do. Great. Whatever you want, whatever how, whatever your budget is, I can I can meet you. Our and home. it's not catering. It's not catering. It's not catering. I don't I don't so cook food and then take it to another place. Right. Yeah. I cook on site. Yeah. I'm a go. private chef. I'm not private a chef. Yes. So get you a couple of friends, four, five, six people, bring eight, them nine, over, eight, ten, nine, <laughs> have them come in and give you guys the experience in your location wherever you are. You'll be the chef for my wedding. Whenever that time comes, I gotta find somebody first. Man. Okay. <laughs> see, see, man, this is this is this is community. This is you. We are behind you 100. percent Absolutely. You just need to know that the community is behind you. And then when you're moving around here, you see all these people smiling. Of course. And you see uh, the cameras when we move oh, yeah. around. This is well documented for history's sake. We yes. were here first. Don't forget about us. No, I, 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 won't. I won't. Not at all. All right, all right I'm let you roll. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me let, let me wrap the, uh, my, my two guests up right here. Ladies, I'm going to say, uh, say something as we wrap up. Give you 30 seconds to say something to Chef uh, Dro, starting with you right there. Richard, uh, one of the things I, I, I've always said about you is your heart for cooking shows with every bite. Thank you for all that you do to prepare that delightful whatever it is um, to allow our palates to just go to places that we would never have. Thank you for the experience. And Shanti, I know you're with a peaceful uh, protest of Lee County. Mm. I want you to encourage people to get out the vote and then say something to Chef Draw. Absolutely. Well, we have...
two weeks until the big day, the big election day. You can vote early at any precinct. But as far as Chef Dro, listen, we are super proud of you. You come from our community. You are, you, we, we are the same, basically. <laughs> we love you so much, and I just want you to take off your, char your charismatic, charismatic spirit, your attitude, your heart for the people just take off we are one we are 100 percent behind you chef joe go for it man you can't have a better testimony than that we got the chef live here on lee pitts live i'm here working we'll be right back lee pitts live is a lee pitts enterprise production hello southwest florida thanks for watching lee pitts live of course i'm lee pitts i hope you enjoy that particular show but you can always catch us here on youtube just click on the subscribe button down there that way you can get your lee piss live on demand when you want it and how you want it we also encourage you to watch our show on fox 4 and connect with us on all all our social media platform just type in lee piss live